and let's see if Grafton actually starts talent fight. He does. He does. Right. Now, this is pretty interesting because I know a lot of the Volcanion decks recently, um, because they can they've been playing so fast, building up that that first turn attack. Uh, Grafton definitely needs to get benched on here because it's totally possible that Ryan can come out of nowhere with Volcanion, power it up, and knock out that talent flame. Exactly. Uh, one thing that I'm kind of worried about is if that something like that has happened, or if a Volcanion with a Five Fury Belt and then Steam Up, if like an Escape Rope actually knocked out the Froki on the bench, he only got one out. Mm -hmm. And we do see there's two escape rope in the list. Here. And we saw we saw in Grafton's hand he actually has two breaks already in his hand, which is not Ooh. that great. So he definitely needs to arrow blitz or find a way to get a frog gear out of his deck. Mm -hmm. It's a Lysander, all right. It's not the best card early. Maybe he has an ultra ball in his hand and he's just thinking, nah, I can, this better be a secret of it later, I can get rid of it now. He, but he no, does, it looks on. Like he doesn't. Just has a Sycamore. Oh. Having to discard a Max Looker too, that's pretty rough. But he does get the Floatstone on the Shaman. Yes. And we see him that is find a very Entei. Okay, he has an ultra ball. Okay, good. I was about to say that hand's pretty terrible. And he does terrible. have that escape rope we talked about this second yes. ago. Yes, okay. Um, so, it's kind of awkward because he can Ultra Ball for Hoopa to get Shaman and Volcanion and stuff, but then he won't have the baby Volcanion to attack uh, with. No, uh, you know what? He can't. He uh, only plays the two Shamans and had to get rid of one at Sycamore. You are right. Oh, so, wow. he can get the Hoopa, he can get those other, he can at least get a couple EXs going. But that's, he definitely needs to also, like he just got there, he needs that baby Volcanion um, okay, to kind so of re recover some of those resources that he's now got rid of. His hand is pretty bad. It's not the best. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, definitely having to get rid of... Uh, oh, he does have the Verse Seeker. Okay, he's fine. So he'll be okay for next turn. He can stick him more again. We're in the life hand, I guess. Oh, I wanted to see a Burning War from that day. <laughs> Who's gonna power it up first? <laughs> no, discard the top four cards. Tap fire. Oh, jeez. Uh, we've only got the one. So he'll, he'll be able to uh, throw an energy on the uh, Entei. Entei's actually not that bad of an attacker early game against Greninja. Because. Alright. He has Ultra Ball, it's fine. Yep. But. Uh, Ultra Ball play. One, of the, one of the cards he got rid of is definitely the break. It was both breaks. It was both breaks. Because it's a super odd in hand. Mm. And that's now he's just real quick one more check because it looks like he's just going to go ahead. Oh, his hand has is a amazing. Ninja. His hand is really, really good for a ninja player right now because he's going to go ahead and do that water duel gets move that the frog gear has, uh, getting up to three more frog gears on the bench, which is phenomenal in this and game. What a great setup for in turn two. But all right, it looks like one, one prize. prized. It's still fine. When it's two prized, that's when you kind of start worrying a little bit. Mm -hmm. And when it's four prized, you just you know you want to call it a day. <laughs> you just get three, apparently. <laughs> just, just get three right to four. Right to four. All right. So, Ryan will be able to Sycamore for a brand new hand. Playing that Skyfield down. And he will want to get some Volcanion Yekas, but... But instead draws a nice handful of energy. So one thing he can do if he wants to take a knockout right now is to attack with the Entei since he has that float stuff. Mm -hmm. Because Entei will be doing at least 80, 90 with that Fury Belt. But it's really unfortunate. He does have a like, supporter for another turn, but he drew so many energies. You know? It definitely... I, I'm sure it's not what... And you know what, actually? It, Grafton got that Super Rod, so... That's perfect. That Frogadier is going right back in the deck alongside those Greninja Bricks. Or at least one of them, for sure. Now, does Grafton play only the one Super Rod? No, he put in the second one from London. London, yep. he played... He took out the Flash Energy for a second Super Rod. From our deck profile, really. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that I see right there. You only really plays the two. That's early game like this. That second Super Rod's actually going to come a little bit clutch now that he's... Uh, and he actually didn't put back the Frogadier. Oh, he didn't. Did he... Uh, what was it? The two breaks in the Froki? I think a Water Energy brick in a Froki. And he threw all of them. <laughs> He's gonna go ahead and be able to... 
But he's in no hurry to, like, I guess what I'm trying to say is Ryan has nothing set up, so Grafton can set up however he wants. Yep. And that's right. He's got, he had the one uh, Greninja. His hand looks phenomenal. He didn't need to, dig, you know, didn't feel the need to dig for another Greninja. So we do see Ryan has the first Volcano Yet. It's a little late to the party, one turn, first turn, I guess. Mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe he can go ahead and steam up and then in. So if he gets a Mac Elixir, he can actually knock out this Greninja. Now, we did see him uh, have to get rid of one early on. And we have seen a lot of fire a energy. A lot of fire energy. But granted, the deck usually plays oh. between 11 and a max look opening up next to fire energy. This could, that, that could be detrimental to it. And he does, he whiffs it. Oh man. You never want to whiff max listers. It's honestly one of the worst feelings in Pokemon. Yep. That, prizing your Hoopa. Um, getting paired against you to barb. <laughs> Very true. And his hand's not good at all. Nope. <laughs> like I said, that one Shimon's in the active, the other one is in the discard. I mean, at this point, do you attach one to the Shaman so at some point maybe it's Sky Return, get back? Because right now if he's you, not drawing any. If you do that, I think Grafton for sure Shadow Stitches for the rest of the game. Oh yeah. That's true. All right, so we see a Sigmore getting rid of two Versus Seekers and a couple supporters. Yeah, it looks like a Lysander and a uh, Fisherman. But Grafton's really but wanting to get... a break and Max another Wolf. Ninja. He has the Froakie on the bench for when he does find that other Fried Deer. But uh, he's going to be able to just use the Talon Flame to search his deck for two of whatever cards he feels like he needs for the next turn. Yeah. That's, uh, like, like you said, Grafton doesn't feel like he needs to rush with his Greninjas right now. He can take his time, make sure he gets set up how he wants to. Uh, Ryan, although he had the oh, top deck to Ryan top deck to Wow. Card. Okay. We can get something going with this. We can get yeah. something going. Registration for the Pokemon One thing that I like closed. about what Grass has been doing is he's super on he's super on back to front of here. That's because he plays that one red hand. And I believe he switched it out or he had his hand, so... We're going to see a Rainy Greninja next turn. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing a couple water energies to throw around some giant water shurikens. I, I, I could definitely see that coming. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Looks like that Sycamore uh, gave Ryan a couple different options to get moving with. But just kind of seeing what we can for, through him uh, thumb through the top of his deck. It looks like he only has maybe one more elixir in there. No, he, he may have one in his hand, but uh, that, as we saw earlier, he had to get rid of him and then mix with the energies and whiffing him. It's just, he can't rely on the elixirs anymore, so... Thankfully, Grafton did air blood flat this turn, so he's able to use Volcanion's attack again and get two energy to each of the two Volcanions. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Oh, he went ahead and retrieval. Oh, and and I think this steam is the up. third steam up. Or it was about to be. There you go. Three. They have the dice there for us. So he is knocking out the Talon Flame. But Grafton's totally okay with that because, as oh, you can see, man. there it is. He just. Everything else he could have wanted, he was able to get for that one. Uh, oh, one go with Talon Flame. Yeah. So we see a more. Oh, there's a couple water energies. And a splash. And a max potion, too. Ooh, the max potions are getting nice. There it is. Healing off that damage that that one took. Grafton's board is looking nice and clean now. Very cool. And he has the splash energy too. I think he has to go shadow stitching, right? Yeah, because yeah, that's, that's what he did with the axis, so he can shadow stitch from the knockout. Shadow out. stitch, now the, he now the other volcanoes can't steam up. Um, yeah, as you can, you know, as we can see. Ryan does have that one Volcano on EX powered up and ready to go on the bench. But it's just not going to be enough now to knock out this uh, Greninja Break. 
I think, and, yeah, he's yep, just... Ryan's just going to go ahead and scoop and go to game two. So Grafton takes game one with Greninja. It was definitely a beautiful setup. Ryan definitely stumbled a bit at the beginning. That um, was an amazing setup for Ryan. Mm -hmm. It's like Grafton is going for some notes real quick. That was like, probably the fastest game one we've had. Even like, it, faster than the benching that we had. Yeah, with uh, long, long. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, that's, uh, it was definitely a faster game, but, and on top of that, it was a faster game with Greninja. Yeah. But that's, Grafton, Grafton got all set up, he had exactly what he needed, um, he knew that that Talon Flame was going to go down, but he was, but he, he went for that last Greninja, he had three set up in his hand, he had the fro, the Froki on the bench ready to go once he got that Frog Deer out of his prizes, and just Ryan could tell he was far more set up, uh, losing that baby and all of those elixirs early really cost Ryan that first game for sure. Um, hopefully in the next one, maybe we can see a little bit more back and forth. I always enjoy watching full yeah. matches rather yeah. than just full one size. Um, so, you know, hopefully it's neither... I, I never root for one player to dead draw over the other. Um, and so when you see stuff like that, you just you kind of both push players dead draw. I mean, if both players dead draw, it goes back and forth. <laughs> and at least it's still a game between the two. <laughs> well, and then, at that point, it becomes who can actually draw first. Yeah, so yeah. We'll so we can see on that one. Well, we... Know from London that Greninja actually has problems with getting docked. Mm -hmm. That Grafton seemed like he had a phenomenal start with his town with the town flame uh, start he chose. Um, we, I could just see looking over real quick. He took a mulligan on that first hand he had, um, and some you know a lot of Greninja players sometimes will take a mulligan even if they have that town flame hand uh, just to try to set up a better starting hand. Um, now Grafton is most likely going second. I I want to assume. Uh, Ryan going to try to get as much as he can out as quickly as he can. Oh, so we see time. five ball talent flame. That's a keep for sure. Yep. It's definitely a great start. You got that talent flame. You can search for whatever you need. That dive ball. You get a froki on the bench right, the, right away. And Ryan is going to. Oh, that was a mulligan. No, you already drew the mulligan. Ryan is going to start. And we're going to see an ultra ball right out of the gate from Ryan. Um, the one thing else I'll mention again, Ryan's had a bunch of fire energies in his hand. He's, he started the game with, I think, three or four in his hand. And his discarding two away. played only two energy retrieval as opposed to like the three we've seen from the other Volcanions that have been around. And now, that's not to say that those energies are gone forever. Like you said, there's the two energy retrievals. At some point, um, he'll be able to attack with the, uh, the little Volcanion and get those back on the bench. But it does hinder his elixirs and um, his ability to move a little bit faster when it comes to trying to keep up with the speed that is a Greninja setup. Yeah, exactly. And basically, Ryan, if you can get two energy on oh, on EX this turn, that's perfect. Because <laughs> then next turn, he can like float zone, catch an energy, knock out the town flame. Or try to escape rope the Froki way kind of thing. And it looks like Ryan got a Trainer's Mill and an Elixir. You're going to go with the Trainer's Mill first, and there's that second Elixir. He could possibly hit two and get both energies on the um, Volcano on EX, except for he goes for the Float Stone. Uh, like you were saying, want, want to have, be able to have that ability to retreat that big Volcano on EX. Yes, exactly. If he can power up this Volcano on EX uh, within the next turn or two. Um, because now he doesn't know what Grafton's hand is. But Grafton kept a Talon Flame start with nothing on the bench, so... Well, it got it, end. So, right, no, I'm saying yeah. that's... So Ryan probably read that based on the first there game. There we go, we get the litter. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. Now, we don't know what's in Grafton's hand. We knew before it looked like he had a good start. I'm sure he had an energy and a dive ball. He was going second. Um, now we don't know what he has. And I've seen... I've seen sadly, notoriously, it looks... This looks Basically better than the other. Yeah, yeah. so never mind. I have seen I have seen the Green Ninja hands go really soft on that first turn. Um, but it looks like Grafton's just not having a problem with that. Double Froggy Deer, that's why he plays the app. Mm -hmm. As you definitely want those Froggy Deers in your deck. That way you, when you water duplicate, you can maximize it, get three out of can if they're not prized. Uh, so definitely inning them away right now is going to be huge for him. And I guess... Having two in your hand, now you know there's two at least in the deck. Yeah, <laughs> very true. Looks like you got a Greninja. Uh, it looks like he did end up right. with one, but that's going to be okay. That hand's really good. Yeah. yeah. 
Because now he just gets whatever he wants. Maybe yep. a slash energy would be good. Possibly. Rare candy would also be really good. He could. Oh, yeah, you know what? He could because he does have the two Froakies on the bench. He has yeah. one Pinja and one Fugadier. But he's probably going to look for a water energy because it doesn't look like he has one. He does have a dive ball in hand. Um, so, yeah. Gra Honestly, Grafton's choices are wide open right now. Yeah. There we see the splash. You could also go Bursting Balloon. You could go Bursting Balloon. Yeah. Oh, that's what we went. Splash Bursting. So next turn, we'll most likely see that uh, Frogadier come up, Water Duplicates with a Bursting Balloon on it to give it a little bit of buffer against that Volcanion who's going to attack into it. Yeah. Um, attempting to take a, a knockout on a Frogadier. I think this is where we're going to see Hoopa. It looks if it's like Brian, Brian uh, ult all the way a Ranger and a Fisherman. Yep, if, if, if the hoop is in deck, now would most likely be the time to go for it. Yep, there it is. So he's going to be able to get two more of his EXs as, as well as his Shaman EX to continue to draw. So he's just going with oh, for one EX. On the yep. He was rearranging his uh, Pokemon before he got the Hoopa. Sometimes if I do that, I always prize Hoopa after I do that. So. Oh, you know what? I think he had the other Volcano on in hand. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. So that's why he only went for the two, because he only needed to go for the two. They had a Skyfield rock. Go for the full four. I... Oh, true. <laughs> so there's a Steam Up attached for the turn. And then a setup for full six cards. There's Olympia. That's good card. And he did draw his other Shaman, so... But, it, I mean, he could Steam Up again. He has, he's only done the one, yeah, that Scrapped has got that dice for us. They're so considerate. <laughs> he's going to go ahead and Ultra Ball away the Olympia in the Sycamore. He does have another, um, he, already, he has VS Seeker in hand, so just kind of depending on Grafton's turn, next turn he can choose whatever supporter he feels is going to benefit him the most leading into the turn. Yeah, for sure. Now that's a second. Second steam up. Steam up. Set, set up for five. five. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. We see a max elixir and another energy. So he could get the third steam up off if he'd like. Now the tough choice. Do you elixir first or mail first? I hate the choice. All right. Now so see, he did mail first last time. And uh, so this time he decided to go yeah. with the um, maybe, elixir first. Maybe the real thing about it is... Who cares? Oh, sure. <laughs> and there we see the first seeker for N. There we go. Grafton making sure it's in there, making sure it plays it. Never want to be too careful. Mm -hmm. I mean, and after your opponent, uh, after your Greninja opponent Talon flames for just two cards and they didn't really play much on their turn, you think, okay, they probably have a decent hand yeah, going on right just now. Just a little bit, just a little bit. This is, this is a much better game from Ryan so far. Um, he's been able to hit some of his elixirs. Um, this Talon Flame is most likely going down this turn. Um, good. That's, yeah, he's at two steam ups, but he could decide to go out to one of his EX just to take out the Talon Flame real quick. Uh, knowing that maybe Grafton won't be able to get that Greninja now next turn. There's uh, so many quite easily. Yeah. I'm sorry, did he get that little turn? Yeah, he did. He attached it to the You can see Ryan can get excited as Dex actually moving through like the first game. He's, I think he's gone through like half his deck. Yeah, that's, he's, he's been playing a little bit faster than that than that first game because now he's, you know, drawing the scene. Another steam up? Oh, you don't need it. Okay. No, that's... We are going to see the retreat into the Volcano on the X and knocking out that talent for him. Right. Right. Grafton right. 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 was able to get the bubble. Ace Ooh, trainer. A, Ace trainer. Very One nice. One of my favorite supporters if you've been watching the whole day. Now this is this is awesome for Grafton because although his opponents only have one prize, he does hinder him to only three cards. 
and Ryan's used a lot of his resources within yeah, that first but turn and a half. One thing that's important to note is right now, Volcano on Yes can't attack on Ryan's turn. And he did Ultra Ball the way that um, Olympia. The Olympia and the Raider. And oh, so, yeah. So uh, that, was a pre- that, that must have been a pretty good uh, ace trainer for Grafton only getting one of the Frog Deers. That way he <laughs> could water duplicates for three of them onto his bench. Uh, didn't quite uh, get that uh, bursting balloon like he had in hand uh, yeah. for the turn in his head, ideally. But with that splash energy, um, if Ryan is able to knock out this Frogadier, at least he'll be able to pick those two up, evolve that fro- the, uh, Froakie on the bench, and bench that Froakie again for the possible Ninja. Rare All right, so we do see the first Seeker in Ryan's hand. It's kind of Ranger, play yep. it. And, and then just, just take the take knockout. knockout. All right. We do see a Verse Seeker in Grafton's hand also. Mm-hmm. So you could play another Ace Trainer if he wants. Kind of make that's it to where Ryan can't get those like consecutive. Yep. Uh, and that's Pokemon. exactly what he's going to do. And and you know, Grafton doesn't have to worry about drawing into the Frog Ears now. All four are on the field. So really. Right now, what he wants to draw into is more Greninja so yes. he can get the breakout next turn. Just in case this one does go well, down. Side event players, video game pod two. Is starting now. It looks like he missed he the, oh, he missed the break, but he did get the dead also. He will be able to now use the bursting balloon. Please report the side of this immediately. Break yeah. Breaks come next turn. <laughs> but yeah, he did get the bursting balloon, which will be pretty good. He needed a water. And he has a second more for next turn. It's so good. So he did a full 160. Because of weakness, thanks to Moonlight Flash returning the energy to his hand. And if that Volcanion is able to attack, which right now it can't even attack, but if it is able to attack, it's going to die thanks to the Lurking Blue. And although he got Ace Trainered, it looks like uh, Ryan was able to. Oh, he drew from an N, I guess? Oh, did he draw thinking it was an N? I believe Uh-oh. so. Yeah, I think I think Ryan he assumed it was an in. He thought it was end of six too. It looks like he did not change the order, so it's easily fixable. You reveal your cards to the opponent and put him back. Then he draws his card for his turn. The escape part is actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Which may be why Grafton wanted to question that, because escape rope is, is game-changing right now. Yes. Seeing as now Ryan can avoid the bursting balloon. And take a knockout on a frog here. Um, and with that, uh, Ryan will be able to retreat back into that Volcano on EX. And if he chooses. If he chooses. Oh. It's possible he could find a, a couple, um, what does he need, just two team-ups? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's two so team-ups and he can actually, uh, power One energy <laughs> Yeah. So he does play the end, so he only gets four cards though. And putting Graft in the six. Does he get the energy retrieval? He has it. Yes, he has yeah. the energy retrieval. This so is the first card. He'll be able to snag through those fire energies, steam it twice again. To, right? Oh. One. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. I was like, he was oh. tricking us. <laughs> what are you doing? There we go. Energy retrieval, double steam up. Now he's able to knock out the frog deer that's active. Attaching two to two fresh Volcanions, basically, or the Ente. Mm-hmm. Okay, yep, there's one on the Ente. So Grafton here is... Yeah, get, grab his break. Didn't really see what else was in his hand. Be a seeker. I'm gonna go for the Ace Trainer again. You are. It's basically right. the same as the end right now. At, yeah, at this point it is. <laughs> Hopefully Ryan catches that one this time. Yeah. Well, I think now it's like... Alright, 
end of three, Ace Chain Road three is the same. So mm-hmm. I really get get, get confused. That's, and it, it, it kind of even looks like the players would just joke about that themselves. All right, Grafton does get the water energy and a bursting balloon. All right, the last bursting balloon too. Only playing two birthday moves is kind of weird at first for me, but you only really need one to go off throughout the game. And Grafton just decides to shadow stitch. So it's basically making it so where Ryan cannot knock out this Greninja this turn. Mm -hmm. Although it looks like he does have a Lysander to knock out the other Greninja in the bench, and that's not good at all. Uh, he, well, I think Ryan still has to find an energy for that to happen. He can no, there's the, three on the, oh, on the damaged, damaged one, one. yeah. But I don't know if he wants to sacrifice it. That's exactly. Something. And it, it does, does look like he's going for it. it. The thing that would really hurt, though, is if Grafton is able to get Giant Water Shrigan off. And take multiple prizes this turn too. And that's Grafton actually does get his super rod, so he'll be able to. Oh, he'll play just it. not to play it. All right. I guess he's figuring he doesn't need any more pocket ears. Uh, he just needs Greninja, and he'd rather draw like the stuff that's in his deck over the three card that he has to put back. Mm-hmm. He does find two waters, water. so he can at least check water shuriken. And attack? Oh no, he already has a one for attack. Alright, but he does it to the other Volcanion yet that's been charged up. And then and now he'll be able to shut his stitch. Yeah. He gets a splash and another break off of his prizes. It would be a lot better if that Frogadier was Greninja. Definitely. Alright, let's see what Ryan can pull together. So he still needs one more energy on that Volcano X. He might be thinking just the power eater this turn. There's an elixir, and he hits it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Didn't want to see the extra cards. He already knows his deck. Mm-hmm. If you guys are wondering what card was above Grafton's prize, it's the Polytoad. It's his favorite card. He has a tattoo of it on his shoulder. Nice. Yeah, his upper arm, I guess. Escape rope, I guess that's what he was thinking about. Ryan's deck getting pretty small at this point. <laughs> and he's gonna sip him too. Okay. Oh look at that rough seas. That is pretty good right now. You'll play it, discard uh, Shaman and uh, Hoopa, or two Shaman. Heal some damage off of Volcano on EX. You, you wouldn't think that the first time that Rusty's being played matchup is from Volcano the player. That's Craft knows he doesn't want Ryan healing. But oh, there is the Rusty's play. That's not okay. Oh, he actually gets rid of all of the bad ones. Oh, hmm. interesting. I guess just as Volcano on the Act is an easier prize than Uba for Greninja because of weakness. I guess. 
Well, I mean, both Volcanion EX and Hoopa, you know, they both have three, uh, three retreat cost. Hoopa has two. Hoopa has two retreat yes. cost. <laughs> so maybe that's what he was thinking, was he didn't want the Volcanion getting up. Yeah, he does have two plus on to play, and who knows if he discarded the last one. Mm -hmm. That's also why he's saving... Or he used the escape rope to knock out the front deer. Crafton's in trouble right now. Mm -hmm. Because he can't really bench another rookie because a single Lysander just wins the game. He's going to try to knock out this Volcanion. He'll be able to do it this turn with a Moonlight Slash. But yeah, he can't bench that Froki, so this, this is his last Greninja. But with this Rusty's active too, I don't know if this Greninja is going to go down that easy. No, he'll be able to heal off, and he does just go ahead and go for that knockout. And the reason you see him attach the basic water and put that back up in his hand is to keep splash energy in play. Granted, it doesn't matter because he only has one prize left, but it's a good habit to get into. And also, I think he would just attach second energy anyway, just because of an N. You still want to have an energy attached you're going to, for you to attack if N happens. So we see an attach from Ryan to the Volcanion. He's gonna see, most likely treat and power eater. Yep, that's what I was gonna say. Ryan is in a little bit of a, a predicament right now because uh, if Graft has a Lysander, he could potentially take the prizes he needs right now. It does not look like he has it though. But is the maybe giant it's water prizes? Shuriken? No, it's a rare candy. candy. But this is fine for Grafton. He can still. Ooh. Ooh, there's the flare grunt. Wow, that was big. All right, Grafton so he's just shadow go ahead and shadow stitch. I don't think there's a way for Ryan to actually come back now. Nope, he's got the one energy in his hand. Let's see, two, three. Grafton pulling off the com potential combat with uh, Four, five, the six. lone Grinja. Yeah. That's, I think Ryan's looking at his discard going, uh-oh, most of my energy are there. Because he's got three on the field, one in his hand, and when he stopped thumbing through, it was six, so... But it's 12. But I think he's have elixirs. Yeah, that'd be bad. Which, he looks like he's counting his energies, but he should be counting his elixirs. Although, Probably if he's put all four of them, so I'm sure he already knows. I guess the only guy that really takes a hit is Hoopa. So maybe try to find your Floatstone? I think he's already gone, Floatstone. Yep, that was it. The thing is, as long as Grafton keeps shadow stitching, it's fucking in. Oh, oh, there top, we go. There's a live center around the court. And Grafton <laughs> goes ahead and takes it against Volcanion. Moves to 5 and 0. Oh. With Greninja. He just keeps on dominating from his London performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was... I mean, I guess water did really big fire there. I guess in this instance, yeah. <laughs> That's I've, I've seen some Greninja players that just, they get perfectly set up and Volcanion just overpowers, but uh, it looks like uh, Grafton got... Grafton did get lucky with a couple of those ins back into yes. his turn, just getting exactly what he had before. Um, I know a, a lot of times it could definitely overly hurt uh, when a good ninja player, like the Talon Flame, they get cards they need to advance, they get in, and then there's just nothing in their hands, and Talon Flame and the Froki on the bench get knocked out. Um, so that's both players on that second game at least gave it their all. Uh, didn't seem like there was one over the other. Um, yeah, it was, when it, when it came it was a lot closer than game one. Yeah, definitely. Game one definitely once Grafton got set up, it was it was it was his game to lose basically. So, all right, stay tuned. We'll be back in a few minutes with Grafton for the player interview.
Welcome back. I'm here with the winner's interview of round five. Grafted rolls with me. Hi. You know, I was just here. Welcome back. Yeah. yeah. That's been a uh, Five and oh. Um, is this going to be London all over again? You know, I would have to say that it's very similar to London, except that was my third Volcano Invention in a row. So, and I haven't <laughs> okay. found an Evitol yet. So, I don't know what's going on. I'm just hitting Volcanians and they don't seem very happy about it. So, you played three Volcanions. What are the other two matchups that you played? Uh, the other two matchups were Rainbow Road and um, the Pancake Dip. The Snorlax okay. Fairy stuff. So. Alright, so two Xerneas decks and then three Volcanions. Yeah, and the only deck that has taken a game from me so far is one of the Volcanion decks. Okay, yeah. So everything else has been too up. So, it's been, it's been a pretty smooth day. I feel like rough water is coming pretty soon. But rough seas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> hopefully I, I've built myself enough of a buffer to squeeze myself. Well, I, I believe it's one win and you're like soft guaranteed mm -hmm. in. Two wins, you're in for sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. So hopefully I can... Right just, now, it sh you should be at least in the money. I hope so. I hope so, yeah. yeah. 64, yeah. Um, but yeah, um, is there anything you're afraid to face? I really don't want to play against the Mega Mewtwo decks. The, the, there's, there's actually two divergions. There's the Fairy Mega Mewtwo and the Psychic Mega Mewtwo. The Fairy one's okay. The Psychic one's pretty impossible. Yeah. The damage change is just so hard to deal with. Yeah, somehow I was able to beat it with your list earlier this week, but it was only one game. That drew. Yeah, it's it's not it's not a very fun match, so hopefully I can avoid that. Besides that, no, I think the rest of the format, the rest of the Besides fields Besides that, are don't good. get dumped. Yes. I haven't yet. There hasn't been a single dunk. I have my, as you might have saw, I have the notepad. Yeah. Yeah, so I call it my salt pad. And so I have the, um, you know, there's no tallies under donks yet. I've prized five uh, frog here so far. Yeah, I was walking uh, towards Grafton and all of earlier. They were playing Exploding Kittens on me and showed me your notepad and it says, dunk right at the top, Poland, and just waiting for those. Yeah, I'm waiting. I haven't got one yet. Yeah. I mean, hopefully not for the rest of the tournament, right? Yeah. At least for the rest of today. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. We'll see you in day two, man. Thank you.